Cowboys owner and GM Jerry Jones is, quote, infatuated with Florida Gators tight end Kyle Pitts. That, according to our Chris Mortensen, the Cowboys currently have the number 10 pick in the 2021 draft, but Mortensen believes Jones could trade up to select Pitts. Damian, should the Cowboys draft Pitts, or do they need to be more focused on the defense? Well, listen, I, Jerry, uh, we, I get it. We're talking about Jerry Jones, the Dallas Cowboys, and, and, and the star and all that. There, first of all, there's no way in hell that, that Kyle Pitts is going to make it all the way to 10. I think he's the best prospect in this draft. And the notion Ooh. that Jerry Jones could possibly trade up to draft Kyle Pitts, really, that makes no sense. Because if you're trying to build a roster in a way where you're trying to win a championship – Anyone who saw the Dallas Cowboys defense last year, they were nauseated watching that defense because they were absolutely pathetic on defense. One of the worst defenses that we've seen in history was the Dallas Cowboys last year. So if the Dallas Cowboys are sitting at 10 and Kyle Pitts, I don't know how, if he falls to him, I still think the Dallas Cowboys should go defense because if you want to, they have enough weapons on the on, on offense. You got Dak coming back. You have Zeke. The offensive line is coming back. You got the three wide receivers. If they were to draft anybody on offense, I would say draft an offensive lineman because that's where their weakness is on offense. Those guys are getting longer in the tooth. They could use some some infusion of young offensive talent up front, but they have to go defense to show up that side of the football. God, I don't even know why we're talking about this. I really don't. I don't know why we're talking about this. Because <laughs> he, is, he is not. Kyle Pitt, there's no way that Kyle Pitts is going to last till 10. Unless he has a Laramie Tunsil type draft day experience. Where you're like, whoa. Right. What's the, what are right. these pitches yeah, hitting yeah, it? Like, what's going on? But the outside of that. But, but because it's Damian Woody. And because this is my boy. I'm going to play devil's advocate just because, because this is a fantastical oh, topic that won't happen. Here but it's Jerry go. Jones. <laughs> it's Jerry Jones. Does Jerry Jones really care about what makes, like, logical sense? No. Jerry Jones is about filling those seats, bringing that sizzle to Dallas, right? Okay, so you talk about Dallas has enough offense. Sure, they have enough. But if Kyle Pitts is, like, behind the quarterback, like, the best prospect out there, can you really fault Jerry Jones for being enamored with him? Because guess what, guys? Everybody's enamored with Kyle Pitts. And when you look at – when you talk about teams like the Chiefs and that that explosive offense, you don't say, like, ah, they got enough. They don't need, you know, um, Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Like, they don't need him. But guess what? They got him. So I, I will stand on the table and say I don't think this will happen. But, but just for the sake of argument's sake, D Wood, is it so wrong for Jerry to covet such a great offensive piece? Come on now. Just, just embrace it a little bit. Okay, Kimberly. I'm let, go, ahead, Shanae, go ahead, Go ahead. Go ahead, <laughs> You know, I'm from, I'm from Texas. And a lot of times we think things that glitter, everything is bigger and better. But at some point, the expectation has to be real. We have the team out there that is ready to win a Super Bowl. And look, I watched that man, Kyle Pitts, his pro day. That man is built different. I don't see him dropping to 10. But uh, for the Cowboys overall, I think that, you know, obviously there's recent history with C.D. Lamb where the Cowboys take the best player available. But, man, what have we been hearing? And Woody said it. You know, Mike McCarthy has said it. The largest change that this team needs to make is defensively. The Cowboys, they allowed the most points in franchise history in 2020. Uh, they had the second worst run defense in the NFL. And so, you know, I think defense is where they need to start. If they're going to go offense, I'm not surprised that my boy Woody was talking about the offensive mm -hmm. line. Very important, but very oh, on brand, know. Woody. You know. Very on you brand. Know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> of course I'm going to go with the big dogs up front. That's where you win games at. But, but mm -hmm. listen, I, I, I just think, I think, again, I think Kyle Pitts is the best prospect in this draft. And there, it, it's almost impossible for him to tumble all the way down to 10 and, and yeah. for Jerry Jones to even think about trading up to go get a tight end. I, I think that would just be foolish considering you just, you just signed Dak to a, what a $40 million a year contract and all the weapons that they have on the offensive side, they have to go defense. They have to start balancing out this roster and adding more depth. 
you can't afford if you're the Dallas Cowboys to start giving up assets because you're, you know, you got your eyes on one particular person. You need depth Damien, on this team. Damien, Damien, the defense can't be any worse. It's going to be better. So it's okay. It'll, it'll be better. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.